Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikayla if you're new here and in today's video We're gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna share some inspiration for spring upcoming spring trends and Share some inspo pictures with you guys so that you guys can style these trends at home These are things that I think are gonna be super popular for this upcoming season. These trends are so fun and Refreshing in my opinion. So I can't wait to share these with you If you guys do want to see me styling any of these trends Let me know and I can make a separate video, but I'm just gonna be talking through the trends and showing you guys examples with pictures from Pinterest and inspo. As always, make sure to subscribe down below before we get started and let's get into this video. A quick disclaimer before we get started, there's a lot of controversy around trends. When it comes to fashion, I think you should just wear what you want to wear and not worry about what anyone else is saying. With that being said, I really do think trends are super fun to participate in and a good way to express your personal style. You don't have to participate in trends but I think they're always fun to take inspiration from these are just my opinions things that I've noticed or taken inspiration from and I don't want you to think that these are the only things that are cool or in style I'm a huge advocate for having your own personal style and only participating in trends that align with you and I don't want you to think that if you don't participate in these trends that you are uncool or that you don't have style think of it as a guideline or a form of inspiration to spin into your own personal style. It's not that serious. At the end of the day, fashion is up to you. Wear what you wanna wear. And if you feel like a trend is super fun and you wanna participate in it, go for it. But if you don't, don't. So that is all I have to say on that. Let's get into this video. The first trend I wanna to touch on is floral details. Florals for spring, groundbreaking, I know. They're showing a lot of florals right now, so I was thinking I could Florals for spring. Groundbreaking. Obviously, florals always trend for spring. That is a given. It happens every single year. It is nothing new. But this year are a few details that I want to touch on that I think are going to be super popular. And I've already seen out in the world rosettes and 3D printed patterns. When I say 3D, I mean 3D fabric, lots of flowers that are coming off of the garment. I've seen these a lot on sweaters and cardigans. I've seen a lot of rosettes. Rosette details are huge. And you can wear these a ton of different ways. I personally have a skirt that has rosette details all over. I think that is such a fun way to style florals. That's a little bit different. It adds some texture. It adds some interest to the outfit. And it's just really fun way to style them. Another way you can see this is embellishments. I've seen so many dresses like this on Pinterest. It's very kitschy and plays into that maximalist feel and I really like how it's done. Girly, glam, feminine, and that is gonna be super in this year. Another pattern I've seen a lot is floral bedding, floral sheets for spring. I've seen a lot of people changing out their bedding and it has these little cute little floral patterns on it and I think it's just so pretty. A lot of toile as well and it's just really fun to change things around and freshen things up and brighten things up with color and floral patterns. Next up is leopard print. I'm really into this trend and I can't wait to participate in it. I actually ordered a purse from Cezanne that has a leopard print on it and I'm so excited to style it. I've also seen some Adidas Sambas that I have had my eye on and they're sold out right now but I really want to get my hands on them. They're the Wales Bonner Adidas Sambas with the leopard print. I think they're so sick. It's a really fun pop of a pattern. I've also seen a lot of leopard print pants and denim. That is just such a fun way to style animal print. I'm also predicting the return of the leopard print skirt. 2012 to 2014 era everyone and their mother were wearing leopard print skirts with a graphic tee and I think that that is going to come back in just an elevated way. In the past, we've seen a lot of neutral trends and this year we're seeing lots of color and pattern and prints. The next trend that I think we're going to see a lot of is sheer. It could be interpreted in a lot of different ways. I've seen on the runway a lot of mesh trench coats, sheer maxi skirts, lacy maxi skirts. Now, sheer doesn't necessarily mean chiffon fabric. It could also mean lacy, anything that's a little bit see-through. I'm predicting a lot of sheer lacy maxi 
skirts that's gonna add a lot of texture and it's gonna be a fun way to layer I've also seen a lot of mesh ballet flats so these are really interesting and I don't know if I would wear those because I just don't want my toes poking out and you'd be able to see my toes through my shoes but I've seen a lot of those and they look really interesting and metallic sheer pants also a lot of sheer tops and just gauzy materials things that add a little bit of texture and some interest to the outfit there's a way to do it that's a little bit more classy now this is a really cool trend and it's a little bit harder to get away with wearing this as a mid-sized woman it's hard to wear see-through things without it being sexualized so this is something i think with the trench coat would be really cool to style i actually have a sheer trench coat that i really want to style so maybe in the next video when i style these trends i will pull that one out this is something that you would have to play around with to get away with wearing it and make it seem elevated and classy you can definitely do this in a tasteful way this trend is very fun and a little bit different from the past few years this next trend is pops of color now pops of color is always going to be in if you like neutrals this probably won't be for you but for me i love a pop of color i've really been in my colorful era lately and just really trying to incorporate color back into my closet and get out of my sad beige era i've kind of and have in the past let social media dictate that neutrals are in and color is just not chic and not something that you can get away with wearing I don't know I I guess I just like let social media dictate my personal style and I have backed away from that especially this past year so this upcoming spring I'm gonna be incorporating lots of pops of color specifically the pops of color that I think are going to be super trending pastel pinks and butter yellows those are going to be the top two colors this year i think we're also going to see a lot of blues and some reds last year and especially in the fall and winter red was a huge pop of color i've seen them a lot in shoes and hats and sweaters i actually styled a sweater that was red for paris fashion week this year i think blue is going to take over for the red and for spring and summer specifically we're going to see a lot of pink and yellows you can see in my background that i have a lot of these colors hanging up on my rack i'm going to be styling these a lot throughout the spring and summer so really excited about that i love these colors they're very feminine flirty and just easy to style very very pretty colors i also think we're going to be seeing a lot of colors mixed with patterns a lot of different color blocking color sandwiching if you will shoes and accessories are going to add pops of color to a neutral outfit it's a very girly trend and i love that this leads me into the next trend that i want to talk about and that is mismatched eclectic style we're going to see a lot of maximalism and different colors and patterns mixed together things that don't necessarily match but they they work together and you're making it work for you and just wearing things with confidence it's just kind of fun to play around with different colors and patterns and bend the rules of fashion the next trend I want to talk about is bows now this is a trend that has been trending for fall and winter but this is gonna be carried over from that into spring and summer we're gonna see a lot more of this coquette aesthetic we've seen a ton of bows and hair and on outfits and lots of braids very hyper feminine style but I definitely I think it's going to be even more so in the spring and summer like i said in the trend before it was a lot of maximalist style but we're going to see that apply to bows we're going to see a lot of bows all over dresses or all over sweaters or like tied into sweaters like i've already worn a sweater from for love and lemons that has ribbon tied into it and threaded through the material and i just think that is such a fun unique way to style a bow we're just going to see a lot of unique bow features that are a play on that previous fall and winter trend another piece of clothing that i've seen that has incorporated these bows is tie up tops best style top ghani inspired clothing and scandinavian kind of vibes seen these all over pinterest and i want to style these so bad i think they're so fun and fresh girly and just a really fun way to incorporate bows in a way that is not just slapping a bow on something the next trend is something i'm really excited about i actually just picked up a pair myself and they are adidas sambas I have seen these everywhere and they are something that I cannot wait to style. I literally just picked up this pair, still has the tags on. I got these in the OG white color. I love that they have different colors, like it's a tri-color situation. This has a lot of colors going on, but it's still 
considered a neutral seen them styled so many times in so many different ways that i just think that they are very versatile and can go with literally anything and a great way to add a pop of pattern and color to your outfits i've also seen a lot of these come in a ton of different colors they literally have every single color not only sambas but gazelles in my opinion adidas sambas are an easy way to add personality to your everyday style the next trend that i've seen a lot of are statement earrings this started out last year with bottega dropping their big gold drop earrings i've seen it kind of curated and made into these smaller statement earrings by a brand called heaven mayhem they have gone really mainstream with it i've seen Hailey bieber wear these i've seen a lot of celebrities wear them and seen them all over pinterest and instagram and they are just so pretty and a great way to elevate the look i have a similar pair here something like this where it's just a gold earring with a little bit of texture and something that you can get away with wearing with a lot of different looks kind of that maximalist look and adds a true statement to the outfit and honestly you could have a really simple outfit and just wear one of these earrings and it would just elevate the outfit so much i think these earrings are so cool and you could definitely do this trend in an affordable way there's a ton of different dupes out there for the heaven mayhem earrings i love a chunky statement gold earring i also think the size of these earrings is just super classy and a great way to elevate any look sticking to the accessory theme the next trend i want to talk about are big oversized glasses now this can mean big oversized sunnies which i have personally love for so long and i just love having a big pair of sunglasses for example like these i think they're so fun they're chic and they just add a lot of detail to the outfit they kind of elevate any look like honestly you could be wearing just a basic outfit and add a big pair of sunnies and now you suddenly look 10 times cooler these glasses are tom ford inspired i've seen a lot of different brands do similar ones even bigger styles of these i also love the ones that have the bar across the top that is solids i just think they're so cool and elevate any look and just a fun way to add some personality to a look i've seen a lot of these glasses with different colored frames with the clear or colored lenses specifically this one on amazon that i saw that are big square ones with a red frame and i think they're so cool just a fun way to add some color and dimension to your outfit the next trend i want to talk about is vera bradley inspired jacket quilted jackets are so in vera bradley is coming back i don't know how i live to see the day vera bradley specifically the brand has really elevated their stuff and they are producing a lot of really cute jackets and outerwear and even purses but to me this trend is vera bradley inspired i've seen a lot of quilted jackets i've actually styled a few myself with the floral pattern that is very vera bradley-esque this is just proof that fashion trends cycle so honestly something that you think is not going to be in trend anymore is probably going to be in trend 10 years in the future but i've seen a lot of quilted jackets and quilted patchwork vests i've also seen this bleed into pants too so there's so many different kinds of ways that you can style this trend another thing i've seen is a lot of upcycling i've seen people actually hand making these patchwork pants and patchwork quilted jackets this is also a great way to promote sustainability i love the floral patterns the patchwork is really fun so you're kind of combining colors and patterns but it's a great unique way to express your personal style the next trend i want to talk about are pattern pants and shorts specifically boxer shorts i've seen a lot of these coming into style i've seen a lot of different patterns but specifically pinstripe pants and gingham pattern shorts in this scandinavian style trend happen for the past few years with the striped pants like pajama style pants and i really love that style it's very lightweight and flowy especially if you get linen pants perfect for spring and summer and warmer weather it's very breathable but i've also seen recently boxer shorts are coming into style i saw this a little bit last year with a striped boxer short but this year it's going to be gingham pattern boxer shorts the gingham pattern is going to be so popular this year and i've already seen it styled it's a really cute way to add again color and pattern i've seen a lot of the red ones green blues i think this is so cute for spring it's really easy to style we're going to see a lot of these cute shorts styled with a simple top and it almost gives that tomboy chic look they have a ton of different options on amazon so definitely go check them out if you want to do this style in an affordable way i've also seen some pinstripe pants 
pants that are actually patchwork pinstripe pants from free people these are so cute i love these pants so much and i really want to try them i like that oversized like wide leg pant style they're very flattering the next trend i want to talk about are bubble skirts now i don't know how i feel about this trend i don't necessarily know if this would look cute on me or my body type but i definitely would try to style these because i think it's a really cool take on a basic skirt they add a lot of texture to a basic outfit i've seen these a lot in a white or a neutral color and i think that that is the great way to wear them because you aren't bringing too much attention to the bubble skirt it's not too out there but it is a little bit more interesting than a regular skirt the next trend i want to talk about i'm super excited about this one it's maximalist jewelry we're gonna see a lot of bling coming in 2024 we're gonna be stacking it up stacking up the ring stacking up the big chunky necklaces and even big statement earrings like i mentioned before i've also seen a lot of charm necklaces all over tiktok and pinterest and i've gotten my hands on some these are from sequin and this is just one of the brands that i have recently discovered who do maximalist jewelry really well and this one is a little zodiac charm necklace but this is just this kind of style that i'm talking about where you have a bunch of dainty little charms but it really elevates the style and adds a lot of personality to your outfit jewelry can do a lot for a look like you could be wearing something basic and put on a bunch of chunky jewelry and it really takes the outfit to the next level one of my favorite trends that i've come across so far i just love that maximalist in your face jewelry look and we've seen a lot of daintier jewelry in the past few years and this is just kind of out of the box a really fun way to incorporate your personality this maximalist style could also include big sunnies big earrings big charms layering a bunch of different jewelry and stacking it up i've seen a lot of stacked bracelets with watches like big gold and mixed metals even layering a lot of pieces lots of bling i almost think of it as wearing everything you possibly can and not waiting to wear your favorite pieces for a special occasion again statement earrings also a lot of pearls i'm seeing making a combo with different shapes and sizes is always fun so definitely play around with a bunch of different jewelry types and see what works for you what you like but i love this trend so much and this is something that i'll be carrying over into next year with me as well the next trend is something that i'm actually wearing right now and it's big oversized chunky sweaters now, this is something that i think is only going to be for spring really because it's going to be way too hot for this in the summer but for spring specifically this is a huge trend that i've been seeing and i've actually been participating in i mean i'm wearing this right now big chunky hand knit specifically sweaters are a really great way to support a small business and to invest in something that's going to last you a really long time i love how big the yarn is and it really gives it that oversized chunky homey feel i really like to be swallowed by my sweaters and that oversized look is always so fun and flattering specifically for spring and summer i think we're gonna see it styled with shorts so a big chunky off the shoulder overstated sweater styled with shorts it really balances out the look and it's just a great way to style things with the weather as it changes it could be colder in the morning and warmer in the afternoon so you can really play around with layering and styling different pieces and i think this would be a great way to do that super cozy and cute the next trend we're going to be seeing a lot of are barrel jeans now barrel jeans i don't know if i can get behind this trend they are just such an interesting silhouette and i've actually Actually seen them styled really well they saw them at free people specifically i've seen them other places but free people does them really well and it just is really hit or miss for me sometimes if they're too cropped they look a little bit weird but if they are perfectly oversized they can give you that really good oversized wide leg look that is super flattering on a lot of body type and can almost make you look taller so i think it's pretty flattering if you can do it right but i don't know if this is a trend that i'm willing to try i just think it's kind of gimmicky in a way so if this is something that aligns with you then totally try it but i might have to pass on this trend all right you guys and that completes my spring trends video thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see me style any of these trends make sure to comment down below and i will definitely work on making a video where i'm styling all these trends thank you again for watching this video as always make sure to subscribe down below before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye